Hello everybody! In this tutorial I want to show you the five important steps to make up a buffer solution from its component. So for example you are required to make up a hundred milliliter of an acetate buffer and this buffer should contain a total of 200 millimolar acetate ions. Uh, the pH of this buffer should be 5.75 and we know that the pKa of acetic acid is 4.75. You have two different components available, namely acetic acid with a molecular mass of 60.05 gram per mole and sodium acetate uh, with a molecular mass of 82.0.03 gram per mole. And the question is, how much of these substances do you actually have to weigh in, in order to get this buffer? So the first question is, uh, do we need more base or acid to get this uh, buffer? Now we know that if the pH um, is the same as the pKa, then we need the same amount, same amount of acid and base. The same amount in terms of moles. If the pH is higher than the pKa, then we know that we need more base because it is more alkaline. More base. And if the pH is lower than the pKa, we know that we need more base, more acid, because the resulting pH is more acidic. So how are we going to address this question? So what we are going to have is uh, our vessel and here at the end we should have 100 milliliter of 200 millimolar acetate ions and we add acetic acid acetic acid and we add sodium acetate so that we get a pH of 5.75 and at the same time 200 millimolar of the uh, acetate ions. So in the second step we use the henderson hasselbalch equation to calculate our acid-base ratio. So we have pH equals pKa minus logarithm of the acid to base ratio. So that's our ratio here. And we uh, can do that quite easily. Uh, we just rearrange this henderson hasselbalch equation. So we bring the log of the ratio to one side and everything else to the other side and we get log acid to base ratio equals pKa minus pH. And here we had the pKa was 4.75 and the desired pH is 5.75. So we get for the, uh, for this we get negative 1. So we know that our log acid to base ratio equals negative 1. And in order to find what the acid to base ratio is, not just the log, we take both sides 10 to the power of and we get acid to base equals 10 to the power of negative 1 
and that gives us 0 0.1. Now I can write this 0 0.1 in a slightly different form. I can write this as 0 0.1 divided by 1. This is the same as 0 0.1. And I can also extend this fraction by factor 10, so I would get 1 over 10. So that's the same thing as 0 0.1. Now this tells me that we now have an acid to base ratio, acid to base equals 1 to 10. So for each part of acid, I need 10 parts of base. This is basically what this uh, equation says. In the next step, we need to calculate how much acetate we actually need for our buffer. Or we can rephrase this question and say, how many moles of acetate are in 100 milliliter of a 200 millimolar acetate solution? And for to answer this, we can use um, dimensional analysis, so we are looking for the unit moles here, so we have mole. So do we have moles anywhere? Yes, we have moles here, so that is 200 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter, that's this one here. The mole is OK, but we want to get rid of the liter. Do we have liters anywhere? Yes, we've got liters here. So it is 100 times 10 to the minus 3 liter, and uh, this cancels out. So all we have to uh, calculate now is what gives us 200 times 10 to the minus 3 mole times 100 times 10 to the minus 3, and that gives us 0, 0 0.02 mole. So in total we need 0 0.02 mole which are made up of acetic acid, acetic acid and sodium acetate because both of both of these components bring in acetate ions and in total they should give 0.02 mole. Now in the next step, in step number four, we set up the relevant equations. So we know that the amount of mole acetate, uh, acetic acid, acetic acid, plus the amount of mole of the uh, sodium acetate should be 0 0.02 mole. And we also know that the amount of mole of the acetic acid divided by the mole of the sodium acetate, this is our acid to base ratio, should be 1 over 10. And with that, we have two equations, 1 and 2. And for example, we can say we solve one of the equation and then put the result in the next one. Let's say we uh, say mole acetate or mole acetic acid, I should say acetic acid equals one tenth times the mole of the sodium acetate. And this now, so that was from equation two, this now I can put into the first equation and I get, instead of mole acetic acid, I write 1 over 10 mole sodium acetate plus mole acetate, 
sodium acetate equals 0.02 mole. Now I can simplify this expression here. And I can say this is one tenth mole and this is one mole. So I get one plus one tenth mole sodium acetate equals 0 0.02 mole or the moles of sodium acetate equals 0 0.02 mole divided by 1 plus 1 tenth that gives me 1.10 and I can say in this case we need mole acid sodium acetate this is 0 0.018 mole so we need 0 0.018 mole of the sodium acetate of the base and now we can very easily calculate how much of the acetic acid we need so mole acetic acid this gives is 0 0.02 that's our total amount of sodium or of acetate minus 0.018 mole that's the comes from the base so this is 0.002 mole of the acetic acid now in the last step we need to convert the moles into grams so we basically ask a question how many grams are in 0.018 mole of the sodium acetate with a certain molecular mass and how many grams are in 0.02 mole of the acetic acid and again what we can do very easily here is our dimensional analysis so let's do the sodium acetate first so do we have any grams here yes we've got grams so that is what we're looking for so we have 82.03 gram per mole so the grams are good but we need to get rid of the mole so we need to cancel that with the 0.0118 mole that we have and this gives gives us uh, roughly 1.48 gram of the sodium acetate and we can do the same thing for the acetic acid acetic acid and again we are looking for the units of gram so do we have grams anywhere yes we've got it here so we have 60.05 gram per mole and we uh, multiply that with 0 0.002 mole and this will give us 0 0.12 gram of the acetic acid so this one here is the base and this one here is the acid and we see there is more base required than acid so that is pretty much within our prediction uh, that we made at in step one where we ask do we need a lot more base or acid and we said we need more acid for that so our answer would be we need to weigh in 1.48 grams of the sodium acetate and 0.12 grams of the acetic acid so to summarize the five golden steps for making up a buffer solution from its individual components is the first step is do we need to ask ourselves do we need more acid or base that's quite important because that immediately tells us whether the result that we get out here is correct in terms of our calculation the step the second step is that we calculate the 
acid to base ratio, uh, ratio with the Henderson Hasselbalch equation. In the third step, we calculate how many moles of the buffer ions are actually required. And the information from step 2 and step 3 we use then to set up the equations in step 4 and calculate the number of moles. And once we've got the number of moles for the acid and the base, we then convert the required number of moles into grams. So with these five steps in making up a buffer solution, you should be able to do your buffers without any problems. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this video helped.